Hey everyone, so I'm back with the Austin Mark IV armoured car. Uh, it took about two hours to put this together and as I say I picked this kit up in order to be doing something whilst um, the dio was uh, drying for the tadpole. But so I would show you um, this kit built up. I have to say I really enjoyed putting this together. It went together really well. Um, there were no fit issues. It just um, was a dream to build and so well done master box. The only problem I had was when I was removing the front axle um, with the clippers, I clipped the one end off and uh, it just the axle broke into three parts. Um, so believe it or not, I've just replaced it with a cocktail stick <laughs> because the diameter of the cocktail stick was exactly perfect for the um, for the hubs on the wheels. So that's uh, that's how I replaced that. But everything else it went together really well um, and I would certainly buy this again in order to make another variant um, perhaps one with the armoured wheels at the back the solid wheels um, I noticed in the box that you could do a different um, setup for the machine guns um, it was interesting there was a full you see uh, you've got the gun then you've got the that slot for the housing for the gun and then you, you get the two semicircular parts which aren't quite um, complete semicircles so you've got a part in there and then they come round and then another one comes round well there were two parts that were complete semicircles with just a, a slot for the machine gun to fit in so I don't know why that was in the box um, there must be another iteration out there that you can do and the other thing I noticed was um, it said World War One era on the box, so I do wonder if, if you, you can do a Mark IV Austin or another Mark of the Austin armoured car for World War Two. I don't know. So the next thing to do is to get this off to the spray booth. So I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, guys. So this is where the armoured car is at at the moment. I sprayed it um, Chaos Black from Games Workshop in the rattle cam. And then I started painting it khaki, which was the shout out again for the colour of this vehicle during World War One, which is the Vallejo khaki. Um, I'm going to do a very small dio with this, and I thought I'd show you what I've done to create that so far. So um, this is a candle I had for Christmas, and I had one last year. I do enjoy lighting candles, and um, once it's finished, the the glass can be recycled. But you get these um, wooden lids with them. Uh, I think you can use them as like a coaster for the uh, for the actual glass candle, so that uh, it doesn't um, burn your furniture or whatever. So I had two of these from, as I say, last year, and what I thought I would do was uh, utilise this as a, a base for uh, dios in the future. I've taken one of these and. I've used some DAS modelling clay. So here's the DAS modelling clay that uh, a lot of you will be aware of and it's air hardening or air drying. So you just um, use the quantity you want and then put it to one side and uh, overnight it will harden and um, be ready to um, paint or whatever the following day. So I've combined this with the base or the, the lid that I just showed you and I've produced this. So it's going to be a very straightforward um, road. Uh, there isn't going to be much detail to it at all. I'll probably just paint this um, like a grey or a brown and it's just going to be a, a dirt road. So the armoured car will fit on it, something like that. Um, I may put a verge at the front here or something. Obviously I've got to do a bit of work filling in where the dust didn't quite cover. Um, it started coming away from, the, um, from this wooden lid actually. I should have um, scored the lid a bit perhaps to get it to adhere better but I may just use some Tamiya filler in those sections. On the front here I'm going to use one of the 172nd scale figures from MH. So this is the figure I'm going to use as you can see he looks like an officer. Um, he's got a map and he's got uh, binoculars. Um, all I did was um, cleaned him up and then I uh, brushed him Corvus Black and then what I've done at the moment is um, just dry brush the English uniform from Vallejo over him. Um, I might try something different with this. Where you see the dry brushing has picked up the 
um, higher areas of his uniform. I may just go in now and paint um, English uniform on those highlighted areas and leave the corvus black in the recesses rather than doing the wash like I usually do and see if that works any uh, any better. Obviously I've got to put the um, or is it Cadian flesh tone on the hands, knees and face uh, and then there's some other colours that I've got to add to pick out some of the other details like perhaps brown for the belt, brown for the boots. I'm not sure what colour the socks would be um, and there'll be a leather strap that's going over his shoulder for his holster I think. Uh, binoculars will be black I would assume. Um, the map will be an off-white with hopefully some colour to represent a landscape um, like you would see on the map. So him um, and the armoured car, will, all that will be on that uh, base that I've just shown you. I think I'll leave it at that for this video. Um, the next one, because I want to crack on with this build, will probably be the finale. Um, I shan't show doing the sludge wash again on this, you've, you've seen that on the, um, I can't remember where I did it on now. Um, oh I did it on the M19, then on the Matchbox M19. I shan't show doing the uh, sludge wash, I shall just crack on with this build now. Thanks ever so much for watching, I hope your week is going well and I'll catch up with you soon.